Hello, John Zimmerman with homeschoolmathquiz.com. And here I have a nice little uh, pop quiz for those of you out there that are homeschooling. And if uh, you're not a homeschooler and you want to take this quiz, I certainly invite you to, uh, to take on the challenge. So the question is solve the radical equation. So if you think you can do it, you might want to pause the video and uh, try it. All right, so let's get into the solution. It's going to take us a little bit of time, but I want to kind of uh, get through the main steps. If you're lost on this, certainly, you know, just learn from your mistakes and go back and, um, you know, relearn or improve where you need to. So here's the solution, right? And so we'll talk about this whole process. So just kind of follow me along. So how do we solve a radical equation? Well, the first thing we want to do is isolate the radical, the square root part. Okay, so that's right here. Okay, I'm isolating it. But how do I isolate it? Well, I might have to take some steps. So here I have 4 times the square root of 3x plus 1 equals 20. I just want to have that square root all by itself on one side of the equation. So the first step I need to do, okay, is I got to deal with this 4. Okay, so I can divide 4 by both sides of the equation. And that's what I do here, right? So by doing that, and by the way, let me just kind of uh, review basics um, concept when you're solving equations. I can do whatever I want to an equation as long as I do it to the to both sides of the equation. So here I can divide both sides of the equation by 10, by 15, by pi, it doesn't make a difference but clearly I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 4 because it's going to lead me to where I want to go which is to isolate the square root part on one side of the equation. So that's what I've done here. So I have the square root of 3x plus 1 equals 5. So at this point now we're ready to kind of take the next step, and that is this. The next step is to square both sides. Now, why would we want to do that? Well, when you square a square root, you get rid of the square root symbol. You can get rid of the radical. So here I have the square root of 3x plus 1. Well, if I square it, that square root symbol goes away. Okay, and we're going to be just left with this. But here's the deal, right? Once again, whatever I do to one side of the, of the equation, I have to do to the other. So I have to square both sides. All right. So squaring both sides of the radical equation will get rid of the square root. So I have 3x plus 1 equals 25. All right. So at this point, it's pretty straightforward from here. Okay. Um, hopefully, all of you can solve this basic equation. All right. So here's the steps. I'm going to take, uh, subtract 1 from both sides. I get 3x equals 24, and x is equal to 8. But here's the deal, okay? And this is critical, critical, critical. I can't stress this enough. You must verify this that this is a true solution. See, what happens is this. Oh, hold on one second. Here's the deal. You get x equals 8, and you think, oh, that's my answer. You know, I did all the steps correctly, and you did up to this point. But when you get to this point, these numbers here, when we're talking about uh, square root equations, radical equations, these are only candidates. These are only potential answers. Okay, We have to verify them as, as the actual solutions. Okay, but Sometimes these numbers are not in fact uh, a solution. Okay, So you can't just feel like, oh, well, yeah, I got the answer right. I don't have to do the next step. The next step is to verify. And the reason why is this. When you square both sides, okay, right here, this, this point, when we do this in um, in mathematics, what's happening is we can we can introduce something called extraneous or extra solutions, and uh, this you know when we square both sides, like I said, you can introduce extra or false solutions. So this could be an extra solution or a false solution, but the, here's the deal: you'll never know that unless you actually plug that number back in and check. Right, so this is this is a, a step that you have to follow. If you're in my in my math class and you gave me your quiz and you only did this side, you solved it, and you gave it an answer, I'd probably take half of uh, the the points off for this question. You have to verify. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Right, so x equals eight is what we came up with, and to verify means we're going to plug in eight. All right, every time everywhere we see x, and of course we only have that x right there. So three times x plus one. So let's take a look at it. So it's going to be 4 times the square root of 3 times 8. Okay, remember 8 is what we, what we solved for x. Plus 1 equals 20. So we're going to follow the order of operations. 3 times 8 is 24 plus 1 times 4. So this is going to be the square root of 25 times 4. So at this point in time, you can do a few things. Here I'm just going ahead and I'm, I can find the square root of 25, that's 5, 5 times 4 is 20. You can work it out that way or you can div divide both sides of the equation by 4. 
And you got uh, square root of 25 is equal to 5. Either way, you're going to find out, if you did all the math right, that the left-hand side of the equation equals the right-hand side. 5 equals 5 is true. That's a true statement, correct? So because when we plugged in 8 in, back into the equation, it generated a true statement, in fact, x is equal to 8. So what could, ha what could have happened if we were dealing with an extraneous solution? You could have come up with something like, say, 15 is equal to 5. And that makes no sense, right? So if you came up with a situation where the left didn't equal the right or there was a problem, okay, and it was producing a false statement, that number, this number here, would have been an, an extraneous solution. All right, so hopefully, um, you know, you did, you aced this quiz. And if you did, congratulations. If you didn't, hopefully you learned something. But uh, either way, please come on over to Homeschool Math Quiz to continue to challenge yourself with some mathematics. And, and of course, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.